Genesis Project family. Morning. Compliments of the season. Yes. Hey, we are on day two and our last day actually of Christmas care package deliveries today. And we're so excited. Yes, we did not record any videos previously of us leaving just because it's been so chaotic. But <laughs> but we will update you all of everything <clears throat> excuse that have been going on with us with um in Grenada here. <clears throat> Don't know what happened to my voice all of a sudden. <laughs> right? Um and so as we go along this way we just want to say thank you all for um your support um and as i said wow. we will up update you later but this has been a minute since we have done together yeah care package delivery here on the island especially for christmas because yeah. last year christmas he was not here last year i was in kentucky so um this is a special time for us and again like arlene had mentioned thank you guys if it wasn't for your support and your help um, your donations, your prayers, and your love. This would never, never happen because we're not able to do it on our own. And yes. it's not about us. This is all about Jesus. Yes. And that's most important um, that we we put Christ on display in all that we do. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm wearing my my Christmas hat and a close hat. So this is actually Cliff's own. My own Cliff dog ate. Riley ate it. So um, I stole his own. Alright, so uh, <laughs> anyhow, chat with you soon. Love you. Bye. See you on the road. Hi, Genesis Project family. Hello, everyone. So we have to tell you about our Christmas care package delivery, right? Because the last time we mentioned, right, earlier in the video, we did mention that we were heading out. Right. So how many care packages did we deliver, Cliff? So total number this season was 30 care packages. Yes. And that is all thanks to the Almighty God and to your awesome donation. Sorry about that. Our dog is here. That's you know Riley. Little rockers. You know right. Um, for your awesome donations. Um, for those of you all who reach out, you know, we have some persons that they felt that, you know, the amount was too small, so so they apologize and were saying that how well we do apologize that it is so little. Uh no 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 no. So perfect. Exactly. It's Just so remember perfect. the widow's might. Alright? So the the widow's might and I'm gonna have to adjust because Riley's here doing his thing. Um is whatever you have you know you you give and and god does multiply it and truly he did you know last year as some of you may remember i was in kentucky and i wasn't able to go out with arlene on um our care our christmas care package delivery mm -hmm. and so this year it was it was so nice to be back to be able to get into the swing of things and to uh, to show the love of christ most importantly to so many people that like yourselves that we call our family yes um you know the first person being delivered was actually very close to us yes. all right and as you know every care package we put um, a bible but because it is christmas um one of our friends lenny Lim, i know that you all we had shown her in a few videos yep um, she is Long -time our supporter of yes, the uh huh, and she's our unofficial um, director of I should say art and design or design. design. Yeah. So because she made our <laughs> posters, um, and and so our, our Genesis Project T-shirt, she have also um, designed it. Yep. Not this one, but some uh, others that we have coming soon. She have um, designed it. So Lenny, thank you very much. So we, what we have done is put um, a track, a Christmas track, mm -hmm. um, together there um, with the care package and of course a candy cane, just yep. because it is Christmas. It is the season. Yeah. A little, a little sugar, a little joy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so the lady that we deliver the care package to, that's our first time that we delivering to her. And as I said, she's actually living very close to us, yep. and. Um, and because we put a Bible there, she was so happy. 
um, about mm -hmm. it because she was like she really wanted a Bible and she's so thankful that we give her a Bible and I told her well that's a prayer answer you know you wanted the Bible you needed a Bible God knows exactly and that's how he just works with us you know he just puts us where he needs us when he needs us there exactly the exact moment his perfect timing right um we then went to saint mark yep. saint, saint john. john saint john uh, what was the second um place that, yep. that we deliver um and then we went to saint mark and um, yep. we went to victoria to the place that have lost um to the families sorry that have lost their home in a house fire yes um and to see the building the progress of oh. the building was so that? amazing it just brought so much joy to our yes hearts. so i had to stop i right i had to stop I pulled middle aside of the road. <laughs> almost in the middle of the road i pulled aside because of course i have to be careful um pull aside and had to take a picture of the progress yeah. so you'll see a before and after we have nothing to do with building of of the home though right. you know we had um donated um only care packages and bibles and stuff but um the government of grenada and others who have and the families themselves who have been supporting them uh, is the ones that you know are responsible for that yes. so when we went and delivered those care packages and met with the families there it was it was so good to see them yeah, you know was. everybody was handing out hugs it was amazing yeah they were just very excited to see us right. and and um you know that's it's like going to the fa to your family's house for the holidays right um but very our, warm welcome right but our genesis project families is always like that yes you know it's, yes. it's nothing new during the pandemic all you know right throughout we yes. have always had families who was so grateful and it wasn't it's not like they put on a show because most of our families up to now even though a lot of them that were the initial families we no longer deliver care packages to them we still keep in contact with a lot of them yes. you know sometimes we'll be walking down the road and they run up and hug us and we talk about their families and all that yes. and catch up so it is so it is a, a, a network it, it truly is it is like the hand of god putting us together yep you know he knows exactly who needs what right and um you know i just really want to interject into that um a huge thank you we had some just amazing amazing donations this year um arlene put it out on the uh, the 28th of november uh, that we were going to try to raise funds to in order to do these care packages for 30 families here on the island and the amount of response that we've got from all of you was just out of this world um and we just really really from the bottom of our hearts we want to thank you all so very much for your hearts and your time and your efforts that you put in to to sending that that money and to sending those prayers and that love to us um it did not go in vain and we were able to utilize that in a great way to show Christ's love and to show also your love for them. People that you've never met, that you just felt on your heart to mm -hmm. to give to. And um, we just thank you, thank you. We could never do any of this without you. And you know, that is what the season of Christmas is about. It is. A, it is about showing the love of Christ. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, sometimes we get caught up in the commercialism. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I love a nice Christmas tree. I love... I love um, decorations, Christmas decorations. I like, I really do love, and I'm saying love because I really mean love. Um, she does. Our local uh, Christmas music, which, which is called Parang from Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. And I am really getting into Parang too. Every so, year, every year I listen to Parang since I've been here. Right, so, um, so I, I really do enjoy that aspect of it, but it brings a different mm -hmm. meaning when you are able to bring that joy and you really hear people say thank you and when you say um no it is all over and like see you don't understand thank you because you see we don't know the story behind their need and we don't ask them if they share you know we we listen we are receptive but we don't ask their story behind their need and they are so thankful so some of the persons that donated uh, cash donations um we want to say thank you to 
Allison and Tim Ross, right. who have been with us since day one. I don't remember. I don't know if you've seen some of our testimony video, but um, Allison, Allison and Tim, they were the, the family that housed us when we were going through um, the our, stuff with Genesis. The stuff with Genesis when she was born. Right. They were there. And you know, as Cliff said, that it, it take me to the story of the birth of Christ, where mm -hmm. Mary and Joseph couldn't find no room in the inn. We all know it as, as children, no room in the inn. And the only place that they could have gotten was a barn. Um, we were so much in financial debt that we couldn't really afford any expensive hotels. Or even not expensive hotels. Exactly. <laughs> and two friends of ours, and I know this is in our testimony video, but I need to mention this. Um, two friends of ours, which is the Hogs. Yep, Jacob Crystal, and Crystal. Uh -huh, contacted their friends who they didn't know us from a hole in the wall except two strangers in their home. Yes. When I was pregnant. And that is like literally. No questions asked. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 were, we had such a great opportunity to get to know them and to just share our lives with them for, you know, about a week's time. Yeah. They, they opened up their home and just free mm -hmm. reign. Yeah. Free reign. And imagine this. These are strangers, like I said. They don't know us from a hole in the wall. And they left their home, went out to work and all that, and leave two strangers in their home. You know? Amazing people. Yes. They just are amazing. really, really amazing, down to earth really beautiful so truly so lifelong relationship right there. yes lifelong relationship also want to say thank you to mark and connie rosendahl uh -huh. um they uh they contacted us and mentioned that they would like to that they it, god put it on their hearts to to give this season and they wanted to give to the genesis project and they were a huge huge donor for for us and helping us um, Meet achieve, our goals. achieve that that 30 care packages yes another person we would like to thank is soon to be dr emily stone and her husband Andrew Andrew Seagers. Seagers. yes all right so out of all the families that we just mentioned is only emily and andrew have been on the island yes um so we want to say thank you very much emily and andrew um and all those who donated an anonymous person who um, donated even groceries, right? We yes. have friends that contacted us and donated groceries. We want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So from the family to you all, thank you very much and God's blessing to you all. For those of you all who couldn't afford, you know, but send your prayers, send your love, to send your support, we thank you also because yes. that is needed so much. Please continue to continue to pray for us and what God has put on our hearts to do to uh, further his kingdom right um we there's nothing more that we can really ask me than that right so going back to what we were talking about in St. Mark's that clip in interrupted but it was a good a good intermission <laughs> a good interruption mm -hmm. um we yeah when we met back the family um in Victoria St. Mark's correct yes, yes. It, it was good to hug them, to talk with them, to sit down, to, to what we, so we call back home, home, old talk. And it's just talk about everything and talk about nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, just catch up. And um, so we, it, 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 was, it was a really good experience, a good time. One of the, our family members who I mentioned before, who uh, is stricken with breast cancer, she's yeah. still, still hanging on, still, it's still, Strong, still struggling, but we, we prayed with her. She yes. sent her love to Sarah and Dennis because she met them the last time. Yes, the and Redlands. Yeah, so everyone, every time we go, they always ask for Sarah um, and, and, and Dennis. Yes. Um, we were able to also send five care packages to Karikou through um, Diana yes. Isaac. Isaac. Yes. So thank you very much, Diana. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Also, we want to thank others who work alongside us that was able to make our work lighter because yes. normally we would have to go all over the island and deliver all these care packages alone so um because of these partnerships like diana um cassandra 
Um, and Miss Paula. Yeah, and, and Paula Isaac. So Cassandra, we were able to deliver six to her. Um, no, five. Five. Um, yes. And then um, six to um, Paula, right? Yep. In Mount Hood. And then um, five to Diana Isaac. Right, I think you said that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Bishop. Oh, yes. And Bishop Devon Roche. Devon Roche. Right. Bishop from Agape Ministries, which is one of the churches that we just love here. Uh -huh. And have been partnering with. Yes, we have partnered with Agape Ministries for part of this year. Um, yes. And uh, made that connection to Samaritan's Purse. Yes. So we, so because of these partnerships, it really made the work lighter. Because we have Truly. other persons to help and to spread the gospel and spread the love and to spread, spread around. So clip on high and spread so thin. Yes. So and this year Arlene wasn't working by herself to do all this. Yes. She actually yeah. had me for a backup yes. again. Thank you Jesus. And <laughs> you would see all our grocery items that was piled up in, in our apartment because as you all know our home is our office, our warehouse is a storeroom, yes. is, is our workstation, is everything um, and which we are not complaining about. We love that. Yes. We love that. When that is happening, we know that things is good. Yep, because we're only able to get around through little goat trails um, amongst everything that uh, has been purchased to, to show the love of Christ to others. And, all and we're good with that. Right, and all the students from um, St. George's University who called us, who donated um, non-perishable items, linens, shoes, oh my all those different things. We thank you, Household thank you, items. thank you. So many thank of you, you all, um, and I don't want to miss any names, so I will um, tell you all when we, we up upload this, we want to say thank you all again, but, um, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So what we would like to do is say a special thank you to a special person. Yes, indeed. Somebody that has been a part of the Genesis Project since its uh, inception, day yeah, one. Since day one. So we just want to say thank you very much to David Nee. And David is the, the guy that is in charge of operations for the Genesis Project. He edits all of our videos mm -hmm. and he makes, makes us look pretty good, I think. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he does. Um, and, and David is not a one to prove his horn. You will never see him in any of the videos. Not because we don't want him on the videos, because he. No, he. We, he we got him on a video. We got well, one. Yeah. <laughs> but he preferred to be behind the camera. And he's a very um, humble guy. Um, yep. Yes. So we want to say thank you, thank you very much, David. For your continued support, for your continued prayers, for your continued everything. You know, for tolerating us, even when we do crappy videos, I guess. But he makes them look good. Yeah. Because believe me, these are not how they really come out. So. Right. You know, the, the sound is, is sometimes off, you know, different things. And he really take a lot of time out of his day to do this. So David, thank you. We thank appreciate you. you. Our next video, we will share more of what we will be doing, which we have been discussing since 2020. Yes. So make it sure you tune It is going in. down for real. Woo! <laughs> We've got seven days until we leave. We have one week. We are leaving. We will be on the plane leaving for Cliff. Will you tell him he can't keep a secret? T minus Sorry. seven days. Seven days. So stay stay tuned. God bless you. We love you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please smash the like button and uh, hit that notification bell so that uh, we can continue to uh, to speak life into your household and you can do the same for us. Have a Merry Christmas.